I'd like to share with you a creative maths project we're underway with. My name is Alan Frame and I'm the head teacher at Downland School. There were many drivers um, which started us on this project. Our context I think is the main driver. Downland School is in the middle of an army camp. Um, the issues associated with this were brought home to me when I hadn't been a head teacher here very long and a little girl told me that she was going to be studying Florence Nightingale for the third time. Obviously with this information a very personalised approach is needed. The first thing we did was to get the children an individual device. We were lucky, we went down a route of iPads and had some building work going on at the time of which we were able to draw some funding. But there's lots of different ways to and creative ways to get a one-to-one -one device. The second step for us was the maths programme. We currently use IXL, but originally we, we were using Khan Academy, which is free. We like IXL because on an individual level it tells us how many ch questions the children have got right, how many they've got wrong, and also the time taken. So we can very quickly individually assess at the end of the day to see how they've performed. The third aspect is that of a flipped classroom. We're not exactly running a flipped classroom, but there's many aspects of the flipped classroom inside the project. We're starting with a simple pre-assessment, then the children are working independently and only when they come across issues are we then intervening. There's no marking, but, and there's always a but when somebody says there's no marking, um, children are, are being assessed in detail after every lesson um, so we can the teachers can see who to focus on next. The fourth aspect is aspects that it would be very easy to lose and we've been, worked very hard to make sure there's still lots of 81 activities and lots of practical activities within the mark. Mid-session breaks are very good for this and other, other dedicated lessons also achieve this as well. Parents play a very important role and it's something we've worked hard on and um, there's been a very positive response to the, to the project um, parents really like the, the way it's been personalised to their individual child. If they want to they can look at question level detail should they want to. We're also running online portfolios and coffee clubs and things to help them. There's been lots of positives to the project and I just want to draw out a few. Um, mindsets, with no ability groups, we've seen a real shift in the mindset of the children. There's been increased challenge for the children um, and also ownership of the learning by them and that's been very powerful. And there's also been what we like to call the Hattie sandwich. We face some of the negative aspects John Hattie wrote about and we try and balance that with the positive aspects he wrote about.